in this video, we're going to look at doing normality testing in a column sheet. Um, so what I'm going to do is choose column type of data set, and we're going to enter replicate values. So I'm going to click create. And again, I've got a data set of males and females paste in my data. So this is ages in years of males and females from 20 individuals. So what I want to do is to perform some normality statistical analysis just to see whether my data is normally distributed or not. Now normality tests won't give you a definite answer as to whether your data is normally distributed or not. They're just very important in supporting your interpretation of your uh, data. Alongside performing normality tests, I also suggest doing some some plots so, so so plotting your data on a histogram for example and this way you'll see whether your data is in a nice gaussian distribution so let's see how you do normality tests in graphpad so again i'm going to click the analyze button here at the top i'm going to select the column statistics analysis which is under the column analyses header i want to perform the analysis on both my data sets in males and females and i click the ok button so in the parameters, I've already gone through descriptive statistics, so I don't really want all these to be reported. So I'm going to untick the majority. I'm going to leave the mean, standard deviation, and standard error. So I find that useful to be reported all the time. Don't need the confidence intervals of the mean. And this is where we specify what test, what normality test we want to perform. Now the one that's most recommended in GraphPad is the first option, the Agostino Pearson Omnibus Normality Test. I'm going to tick this one. And I'm also going to do the Shapiro-Wilk normality test. So these are just different normality tests. Uh, I'm going to leave the last one. And I'm going to click OK to run the analysis. So we now have a new result sheet. Let's have a look at the results in more detail. At the top, you've got the number of values. This is the N number in each group. You've got the mean, the standard deviation, and the standard error. And then underneath this, you've got the results from the normality tests. So in the first one, you've got the Agostino and Pearson normality test. So what you've got is your test statistics here. So this is the K2 values. Underneath you have your significance values for the test itself, so the p-values. So you've got for males 0.551, females 0.295. The next section is whether it has passed the normality test itself. So if your alpha value or your p-value threshold is 0.05, then both of these have actually passed. So in other words, if the p-values are less than 0.05, the normality test would have failed which indicates that your data may not be normally distributed. And this is summed up in the last line called p-value summary. So again, it's saying it's not significant. If these were saying no, so if it failed the normality test, this here would be a, an asterisk signifying the p-value. So it could be one asterisk or two, for example. So the next test, again, is the Shapiro-Wilk normality test that we asked for. So you've got the, the Wilk statistic here. The p-values, whether it passed the normality test, again, both of them have because the p-values are both above 0.05. And the summary, which is both obviously not significant. So by looking at that, it's indicating that my data for males and females is normally distributed. But again, I would also do other investigations such as using a histogram plot for example, just to see the distribution of the data itself. In this video, I've shown you how to do normality testing in GraphPad Prism by using a column data sheet.